Let's do a quick, easy beginner acrylic painting tutorial. It's a rainy day. All right, I started with a brown canvas because this is a painting I painted over another painting. What I did was I got some white and some black and I put a bunch of white on the brush and I just the tip of the other tip of the brush, I put the black and I kind of whipped it around here and made this gray. Just kind of cross hatching all over the, the canvas. Now you see I'm adding some blue ultramarine blue blend it in there now I'm just lightly going across and with another dry brush and blend it out a little bit more of that ultramarine blue over in the one corner now we're going to lay down some shrubbery Real quick, real easy. It's a rainy day. So you can see some blues, greens, all mixed together. A little bit of burnt umber, I do believe it was. And now we're gonna put down a, a road. Just sling it in there. Some white, some black. Just go ahead and throw it in there. Try to use the palette knife, but it was uh, too wet. It was scraping everything off, so I said, mm, we'll just stick with the brush. Things over there look a little too light so we're gonna darken those up throw some more dark stuff over here in the foreground on this side of the road or street or whatever you want to call it don't worry it looks a little crappy now it'll all come together Pulling the, some of those dark colors down into the road. I'm going to use them kind of as like a reflection, a wet street, wet road. Here I lightened up, made some uh, pale green, just to give an indication of some depth and some trees or something behind the ones that we're looking at. Real, real dark. Phalo green, some burnt umber. Right, hit it with a hair dryer real quick just to dry it off. Put a little wash on the sky, just real quick and easy. Too bright. Now we're gonna put that that shine, that reflection. Kind of give that indication of a wet street. It'll all come together. Don't worry. Have faith. Still wasn't dark enough, so I darkened it up a little bit more. Great thing about acrylics, just paint on top. They'll dry. Now take a toothbrush, get it in some white, water it down, and just flick it all over the place, make a mess. Alright, now is when the magic happens. 
You're just going to go on here and you're going to draw raindrops all over the place. I'm using straight black right out of the tube and a little liner brush. Oh yeah, here's the little run. And then when the raindrops, they get together and they meet up and they just whoosh and run down the, the pane of glass. A nice little touch. Add that stuff too. Now what you want to do here is you want to stay random. All different sizes and shapes and all over the place. Don't start making patterns and it'll all turn out fine. See, it's starting to come together. Now what I'm doing now is I have mixing white. If you don't have mixing white, you can use take titanium white or whatever white you use and just thin it down. And then just go ahead and fill in your little raindrops. And then look, if it dries kind of transparent, you'll see. And then we'll go back later and touch them up with the titanium white. back with the titanium white the bright bright white just hitting little spots here and there making it come alive now you see why I wasn't so awfully worried about that's the first stuff we put down we want it to stay fuzzy and hazy and out of focus a little bit and now here we are with the black raindrops again just draw them out all over and again random sizes shapes I'm sure you didn't want to watch me draw a bazillion raindrops so there they are now here's that mixing white again you'll see it goes on pretty pretty bright but as it dries it gets really really transparent You'll see it later. Kind of shows what's behind it, through it, in like a milky, hazy way. There you can see some of them drying already. throw some of these little things in on those random oddball kind of drips where everything kind of runs together but isn't a drop got that little bit of fog and haze around it just like those runs that we put in there yeah it's good to put some some different things in there make it look real Now here we go, here's the titanium white. See how they dried with the mixing white? Or again, if you have titanium white, just thin it down. And then you go back with the straight titanium white. And pop all the little highlights on there. Hit the bottoms. And they just come alive.
there you go it's a little time consuming and a little bit tedious but it's very very simple it's not that hard this is a good one beginner one not a whole lot of colors involved not a whole lot of mixing just uh have some fun see what you can do i hope you enjoyed this and i want you to give it a try see what you think leave me a comment give me a thumbs up if you don't mind and if you didn't already go ahead and subscribe there's blind views and that's the way i see it what we do here is go back 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 back